Well, now that I completed my little donut extravaganza here, um, I thought that these people could still use a little sprucing up. So I decided that I'm going to add um, the head of the famous astronomer, Galileo. I actually got this picture when I was up there looking at the aliens at the Griffith Park Observatory. But I thought, you know, a statue head on the outside of the house, that's always a good thing. So I'm going to bring the icon of Galileo into the house picture. There he is. And I thought he might look really nice kind of blending in with this palm tree shadow right over here. So I'm going to bring him over. Again, I'm going to turn down the opacity here so I could see what I'm doing. And I'm going to place his head right about there. You know, he's a little big, so I think I'm going to do transform. This time I'm going to use a shortcut. Command T. Holding down the shift key, shrink his head down. I mean, he's a big man, but not quite that big. Hit the return key. Kind of center him in there. And now I'm going to turn the opacity back up. Now, this may confuse you just a little bit. I don't mean to, but instead of, I want you to really see what the difference is between layer opacity and then brush opacity. So layer opacity knocks down the opacity of the entire layer. So I'm at 31%, 52%, 78, 100. Brush opacity, on the other hand, which is crucial. We are going to be using a lot of changes in brush opacity. Basically lets you create a layer at various levels of transparency. Now this may seem confusing at first, but bear with me. So I'm going to go over here to the brush and I'm going to switch my colors by hitting the X key so that I have black. And I'm going to check my brush size and I want a fairly solid brush here. And now I'm going to use the bracket keys and size this brush up on the fly. And so I'm going to add the layer mask. Almost forgot for a second there. And I'm going to go around the outside of Galileo, just cutting away using the normal layer mask, getting rid of everything I don't need. I just want his head hanging out up there. So I've got that kind of wedged in there. He'll be coming out kind of like a Galileo ghost or something. I'm sure they'll like this. So my present to these people. Okay, so now that I've gotten to this point, I've pretty much created a solid mask and let me show it to you. There it is. And now I'm going to zoom in, use the space bar to move his head over. And at this point, what I'm going to begin to do is work using the opacity of my brush. So up here in the options bar, not the opacity of the layer, that does a sort of universal transparency, but an opacity in the brush. So I'm going to go down to 79%. And as I paint, it's not taking away 100% of the image. It's taking away 79% of the image. And as I get closer, I'm going to come down to 50. And I'm going to kind of chip away. And I think I might right click and go a little softer on the brush now. So I want kind of a soft edge so that Galileo looks like he's kind of coming out of the house here. And I don't know if you can hear my clicking. I'm doing a lot of clicking. And now I'm going to go with even a lower opacity. Start to feather him. So ultimately what's happening is I'm lowering the opacity. And each time I do that, it's kind of blending. Let me go a little higher. I want to cut away a little more of this. Okay, now I lower it. You know, this starts to become sort of a more impressionistic kind of 
layer mask. And the more times I go over it, I'm at 20% right now, the more I take away. So each time I paint, I'm painting out just a 20% of the image. Okay, so let's step back and see. Oh, that's looking good. I think I could blend him even a little more. Maybe have him be even more mysterious. So I'm even kind of going over some of his face. Just letting some of... I love how the palm tree kind of looks like his hair. Okay, so there's our blended Galileo. Now take a look at the mask that I painted because I think this will explain a lot. Here it is. And see all these gray... Here, I'll turn this down. All this gray area, this lighter gray, is when I was lowering the opacity. So that basically, this the lower you turn your opacity, the less it will cut away. So pure black is going to cut away the whole image. And as I turn down to 50% to 20%, I'm taking away less and less of the image until I get to white. And white will reveal the total amount of his head. And that's how I get this. So now this house is a really fantastic.